Hello, my name is Felipe Gavilán and in this video we are going to see two ways of inserting 10 million records in a SQL Server database. One is the efficient way and another one is the inefficient way. But before I show you those ways, I want to show you the difference between them with regards to execution time and memory usage. So I have all of the code implemented, so what I want to do is to press Ctrl F5 to run my application just as a test. You are going to see that the efficient way took about 0003 seconds and the second one 0015 seconds, but this was just a test with 100 records. I want to use 10 million records. So let me say here, like this, this is 10 million records. All right. So now, let me press Ctrl F5 to run our application. Now this will take a few seconds for each execution. So what I will do is that I will edit the video just so you don't have to wait that time. So as you can see, this is done. So we have the efficient way that took about 19 seconds and the inefficient way took about 35 seconds. So as you can see, the efficient way did it in about half the time that it took in the inefficient way, but that's not the only difference. We can see a difference in memory usage. Let's see that. Let me come here and I will comment this out. I will comment the inefficient way out so that we can go to debug performance profiler and I will check only memory usage and then start the application. So what this is going to do is that it will measure how much memory we're using in our process. So as you can see, we can already see that we're consuming about 26 megabytes in memory, which is not that bad, honestly. And you can see it is more or less static over time. It is constant. So we're not using any more memory over time. So the process is done. So you can see that indeed, we only use about 26 megabytes tops in our application, in our efficient manner. So now let's go to the program class and I will comment the efficient way out and I will uncomment the inefficient way so that we can see the difference. Let me go to debug again and relaunch performance profiler. And you are going to see that this is going to be quite different. As you can see, we are consuming more and more and more memory. We are over one gigabyte and we just reached almost two gigabytes. Oh, we got to 2.3 gigabytes, which is awful because all of what our application is doing is to just insert in some records in a database. It shouldn't be consuming almost two gigabytes of memory. So let me close this so that we can compare that indeed we have that we were using here 2.1 gigabytes and in the efficient way, we were consuming 26 megabytes. So as you can see, what I'm going to teach you is useful because you can see a difference not only in execution time, but also in memory usage. So let's see what we have. Let's see the inefficient way of inserting the 10 million records. In the inefficient way, what we do is that we use a data table. And here we have a route. This is a route of a file that contains the data that we want to insert in SQL Server. So let's go to get data and you're going to see that we have a unique column and then we are inserting, we are reading from the text file and then we're inserting into the rows of the data table and finally we are returning the data table. What is wrong with this? Well, what is bad about this implementation is that you are loading all of the information in memory, which is inefficient because then you are loading everything in memory just for what? So that you can send it up to the database, which is inefficient because there is no need to have all of the information at the same time in your application. Again, this is wasting memory. So what can we do about it? Well, a better way would be to do something like a stream in which you take the data from the file and you send it immediately to the database. In our case, we have a store procedure that is capable of receiving a list of values, just like I showed you in a previous video. So let's see that here in the efficient code version, we have this get data method. And what it does is that it produces an enumerable or SQL data record. And here we are building up the schema, the schema of the type that we created in SQL Server that will be the parameter of our store procedure. Then we have this SQL data record and we initialize it with our schema. 
And then again, we do a stream reader and we read all the way to the end and we insert the information line by line and then we yield return data record. As you can see, we are not building up some sort of collection in memory, but we are returning the SQL data record as soon as possible. And then we are passing that up to our extra procedure that we have here. Again, this is something that I show you in a previous video in which we were able to pass a structure parameter to a extra procedure. Let's see that again. Let's go to SQL Server. Here we have, this is the parameter of the SQL procedure. We use create type and we created a user defined table with a single column, though you can use several columns if you want. And this is my testing table. This is where I'm inserting the data. And finally, we have this store procedure in which we have this type that we created here. And we are here receiving all of the values, in our case, the 10 million records. And then we are truncating the table just so that we have a clean table. And finally, we do a insert into our table and we do a select over our parameter. So as you can see, what's important about this is that Instead of using a data table that obligates you to load all of the data in memory, you should use something like an enumerable of SQL data record. And with this technique, you will have a faster process that consumes less memory. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also consider to buy one of my Udemy courses today. There is a link with a discount in the description of this video. Thank you.